We will deal with the Fallen later. I fear more pressing matters must concern us now. May the Dark take Euraxia! She sent my own parents against us, and killed the brave and honorable Nalado! But we have no time to mourn. We must determine what the dragons seek at the ancient moon gate. Do not presume to tell me how I should feel. I am the queen now, and I do not have the luxury or the time to grieve. Five Claw, those were not my parents. They were animated husks, nothing more. And I will remember Nalado's sacrifice, after... After we finish saving elsewhere from the dragons. You are still with me in this Five Claw. You and Abner Torn both. We ended one threat, but two more remain. I will go on without you, but I would rather have you at my side for what is to come. The war is far from over. Even a queen needs to consult with such learned personages as Garish Ri and Abner Tarn every now and then. Take this in recognition of your efforts on our behalf, Five Claw. Then talk to Garish Ri. I need to think. This throne. For too long, a tyrant has sat upon it. But now... The main must recognize you as the heir of Anequina. But the people already cheer your name. Finally, this palace is a labyrinth. A word. Did Fine. I miss anything? Amira's parents would be proud of how she has stepped forward in these dark times. Moons, I am proud of her. While Kamira gathers her thoughts, the rest of us have work to do. Tell me. What happened in the palace? You bring news both welcome and grim. But we can neither celebrate a victory nor mourn the good captain until later, I fear. We need to determine why the dragons are willing to associate with wielders of dark magic. Could they be interested in the moon gate of Anequina? It lies in that direction. I wonder if this pertains to Euraxia's final order. A soldier mentioned it after we captured her, but she refused to elaborate. Maybe you can help Tharn find out more. Even now, Abnur Tharn searches through the documents in the royal study, seeking information concerning this final order. Despite his show of indifference, Euraxia was his half-sister. Her death is bound to affect him. I suggest that you tread warily. Worried? No. That would imply I had any feelings toward the man whatsoever. I'd say I'm more concerned that his nonchalant attitude toward his sister's death might be hiding his true emotions. I trust that he's here to help. But he's still a third. When you look at the world as lines on a map, it all seems so small and insignificant. I was trying to determine the meaning of this document, but so far the secret eludes me. I found a letter, but it's not complete. Looks like a scribe's dictation. I've been searching for more, but I haven't made much progress through the royal stacks. With your help, perhaps the search will go more quickly. It alludes to an order Euraxia was preparing to deliver shortly before our assault on the palace. It mentions a Captain S, the Cygnus Irregulars, and a favor for the dragons, but gives no indication as to who they are or what the favor might be. We did what had to be done. Think no more about it. If you hadn't ended Euraxia, I certainly would have. Now, 
Look around and see if you can find anything pertaining to this unfinished letter. I'm sure it refers to Euraxia's final order. This study contains documents from when the Khajiit ruled Rimen, as well as papers that cover the span of Euraxia's rule. So many, many papers. She was a prolific writer, I'll give her that. At least she didn't destroy her files before she died. Anything pertaining to this so-called final order? While we're looking around, let's see if we can find anything that mentions the dragons, the necromancers, or anything significant. Who knows? We might uncover something unexpectedly helpful. Captain Sorlinia, that must be Captain S. And the Cygnus Irregulars are Imperial troops under the command of Prefect Kalo at Sandswirl Manor. Old Khajiiti legends and rumors of a last dragon guard. Intriguing. Control dragons? What folly. But what was that about killing the last dragon guard? I think you found everything I need to fill in the blanks. Let's talk. The documents you uncovered allow me to make sense of this unfinished dictation. I believe I now know the contents of Euraxia's final order. Euraxia ordered Captain Sorlinia to assassinate a dragon guard in an effort to appease the dragons. Sorlinia plans to commandeer as many additional soldiers as necessary from Prefect Kalo at Sanswell Manor and retrieve a report. Neither do I, at least not fully. The dragon guard were the sworn protectors of the Imperial Emperor. At least they were until they fell out of favor. Euraxia has ordered her assassins to murder what she claims to be the last dragon guard. Don't ask me. The dragon guard I knew failed to protect the potentates and were disbanded in disgrace. They claim to have descended from legendary Akaviri dragon hunters. But that's all it was. A legend. We need to get to Sanswell Manor. We can't take any chances. Euraxia's final order directs her assassins to murder the last dragon guard. If the dragons consider this threat real, we need it on our side. Meet me west of the city on the outskirts of Sanswell Manor. Kalo is mentioned in Garesh Ree's intelligence reports. He commands a garrison of troops in an estate seized when they conquered the region. As for Sorlinia, I've never heard of her. But an assassination squad, they're never a good thing. Are the people of Rimen cowards? They're just afraid, Kamira. Remember, the dragon's still dark in the skies overhead. But we need to replenish our forces. I fear there are more battles ahead.
An Imperial garrison housed in a Khajiit estate. My half-sister spared no expense, I see. Prefect Kalo commands a full complement of soldiers, mostly seasoned Imperials and not the Nibbanese mercenaries that make up Euraxia's main forces. It's probable that Sorlinia and her assassination squad is here as well, so I advise caution. I prefer to avoid unnecessary bloodshed, of course, but these are enemy forces. We must do what we must to complete our mission. I'll work my way down from the upper levels of the house. You find your own entrance and we'll meet somewhere inside. Try not to alert the entire garrison to our presence, and keep an eye out for Captain Sorlinia or anything related to Euraxia's final order. We need to determine where the assassination squad plans to strike if we're going to save the Dragon Guard. As I said, the Dragon Guard I knew were the Emperor's protectors. Spread out!
How good of you to join me. Let's talk. We need to speak quickly. I doubt I'll remain undiscovered for very long. This projection, a simple spell, nothing to it really, but that's not what I want to discuss. I'm hiding in an empty servant's quarters at the moment. I discovered that Prefect Kalo is no longer in charge here. In fact, he's been arrested. That's the thing. Prefect Kalo isn't really one of the Uraxians. His cohort of Imperials accompanied my half-sister into Rimen, but he's been a vocal opponent of her coup and subsequent claim of rulership. Apparently, he refused another order. Kalo's probably being held in one of the lower levels. See if you can find him. He should be able to tell us more about the Dragon Guard and Solinia's orders. Wait a moment. I'm about to have company. I'll find my way to you as soon as I can. Interesting. You're not one of Euraxia's mercenaries. I'm Prefect Kalo, commander of the Cygnus Irregulars. And you're that outsider working with the Khajiiti militia. I expected you hours ago. Well, let's not dawdle. You have an assassination squad to stop, I assume, so if you'd open my cell... It's elementary. I pay attention to every significant event that occurs in the region. Comes with my job description. I have agents, spies, and informers from Riverhold to Rimen. The dossier on you could choke a Wamasu. Now, about this door? I'm an Imperial without an Emperor. My cohort was assigned to accompany Euraxia on a fact-finding mission. She turned it into a conquest. I tried to temper her more violent tendencies, but her mercenaries outnumber my legionaries by a wide margin. I refused to direct order. Wouldn't give Solinia my soldiers or my file on the last Dragon Guard. So, here I am. How about this? You can find a copy of the report in my office. If the information it contains helps you, then come back and set me free. I'm a reasonable man. I have no great love for this land. But neither do I want to see it destroyed. Dragons were the last straw. In other words, this is me making a stand. You can find a copy of the Dragon Guard report in my office upstairs. She burst into my office with orders from Euraxia, demanded I provide soldiers to support her assassination squad, then commanded that I turn over my file on this so-called last Dragon Guard. 
I politely refused both requests, and she had me arrested. An elite unit of mercenaries. They're rabid dogs that Euraxia points at her enemies. They like to kill, and they're extremely good at it. With the urging of the dragons, she pointed them at their current target, the so-called Last Dragon Guard. Well, that puts a new spin on the situation. Selenia took my file. Then she and her soldiers went to assassinate this supposed last dragon guard to appease Euraxia's dragon allies. There's a copy of the file in my office, but I suggest you hurry. Conquer Rimen? Euraxia was sent on imperial business to a province that owed us fealty. There was no reason to conquer a place we historically controlled. No. She decided to make her own play for power while Emperor Varen was otherwise engaged. It was complicated. Look, our quick visit turned into an invasion. Euraxia contracted an army of Nibbanese mercenaries to back her up. And then the Emperor disappeared and his empire collapsed. We were stuck here without orders or assistance. I see you found the report. Now we can continue our conversation without being separated by those inconvenient bars. Ah, there you are. And I see you've captured Prefect Kalo. I presume he surrendered without a fight. Don't look so shocked. My irregulars are very good at what they do. It was simple enough for them to sneak in and set me free. Now, what did you learn from the report? Anything that will help us stop Captain Selenia and her assassination squad? As I said, we were never willing participants in Euraxia's conquest of Northern Elsewhere. My irregulars did as little as possible to advance her agenda, and we worked to sabotage it as often as not. Besides, have you forgotten about the dragons? The dragons won't stop after they kill or subjugate the Khajiit. We're in as much danger as everyone else. If Lord Garesh Ri pardons my soldiers, we'll help fight the dragons. But we're going to need the Dragon Guard. Do you know where he is? Grand Chancellor, I propose that you get Garesh Ri to pardon the Cygnus Irregulars so we can form an alliance. An alliance? Interesting. Comrades would be helpful in the battles to come. I'll return to Rimen, plead Kalo's case, and send someone to help you. Meanwhile, I suggest you start your search for the Shrine at the Stitches.
Asura, is this truly the path you set me on? Tarn sent Samarak to assist you against the Euraxian officer Saulinia and her assassins. The locals say that a group matching their description passed through here a short time ago. Tarn explained that we seek a hidden Akaviri shrine. Saulinia, the assassin who murdered King Hemakar and Queen Numara. Zamarak heard that name often on the day of Euraxia's coup. Perhaps this one can finally get justice for the royal family. No. 
Zamarak was guarding Kamira that day. We were far from the palace. Anyway, this one learned that the local crime lord provided Saulenia with guides who know the scar well. We must hurry if we hope to catch them. The scar can be a treacherous place, Five Claw, even without the addition of a Nibbanese assassination squad. We need to hurry, but we should also proceed with caution. King Hamakar saw something in Zamarak. He specifically requested this one during a visit to the Desert Wind. Zamarak set aside his studies and devotions to become the King's Claw. I pledged my life to keep the royal family safe. No. Kamira wanted to visit the Desert Wind Adeptorium. This one was tasked to guard her. So, Zamarak was not in the palace when Euraxia and her troops arrived. They were welcomed as emissaries of the Emperor. But they were lions about to pounce. A small success in an avalanche of failure. Guilt consumed Zamarak because he lived and the royal family died. So this one exiled himself from the land he loved and traveled the world. This one sought... What? Peace. Forgiveness. Something. Wait, that body, it's one of the assassins. They must have passed this way. More bodies, the hired guides. Saulin is like Samarak thinks. There's a door behind these stones. Is this the place we seek?
That door. Not even all of Zamarak's strength and training can budge a magical barrier. Maybe the pedestal. The pedestal maintains the magical barrier, but Zamarak does not know how. Find the Dragon Guard, or his blood won't be the only thing that stains my blade this day. The assassins. That came from the south. We must hurry, Fat. The assassins. They stalk the southern passages. We must hurry. There may be another way past this door, deeper in the complex. Whatever has been hiding behind that door for all these years can wait a little longer. We need to deal with the assassins. They are the most pressing threat. That shout we heard. Saulinia and her killers must be close. Traps. We stopped some of the assassins, but not all of them. We must be wary. Another maze. We must find a way to the other side. select a target, it always dies. I trained to fight dragons. This isn't going to end the way you expect.
Now, guard, you and your order die. Oh, good. More blood. Thank you, Five Claw. With Saulinia dead, maybe the royal family can finally rest in peace. The Dragon Guard ran through that door, but he was wounded. We should help him. Zamarak. There was a heaviness on Zamarak's soul. Now it disperses like sand in the wind. Still, this one promised to find a new path. But these events just returned him to the same one he walked before. Yes, but Zamarak believed his previous life of violence caused those deaths. His studies and meditations told him this was so. Now, with Saulinia's death, Zamarak feels... lighter. It feels good, but it also feels like a betrayal of the desert wind. You are right, Five Claw. Violence is never the best way to solve a problem. It only leads to grief. As the adepts say, when an enemy strikes you on the right, also offer him your left. But these musings are missed. Let us check on the Dragon Guard. Stuff. I saw her fall, though. Thanks for that. After all these years, why do I suddenly have so much company? I know about the dragons. I sent word to the other sanctuaries. The last... I didn't think so, but no one else has responded. Maybe... No. I know at least one other is still out there. He'll come. He has to. Take my ring. It will open the sanctuary. Find the dragon horn. You have to. Have to. May Kenarthi guide you to the sands behind the stars. Below. That looks like Prefect Kalo. What is he doing here? There you are. We came as soon as we could. Were you able to stop Captain Selenia and her assassins? Both dead? Selenia deserved it. 
A shame about the Dragon Guard, though. And yes, it took some convincing and Tharn's most diplomatic negotiation tactics, but Queen Chimera has accepted our help. Provisionally. The Cygnus Irregulars are on probation. For now. Once Queen Chimera sees us in action, I'm sure she'll come around. Until then, I wanted to make sure you were all right. Beating Selenia is no small feat. I'm sorry we lost the Dragon Guard, though. A Dragonhorn? Like the one at Starhaven Adaptorium? Huh. Well, if you think this old relic can help, lead the way. The barrier has fallen. Let us see what awaits within. Are these the remains of the Dragon Guard? Books and scrolls. I knew it. Knowledge is power, my friend. You'll see. Such a small thing when compared to the dragons. Still, we should take it to Rimen, yes? It's happening again, I see. I, I see... a dragon? Cadwell? Cadwell? What was that about a dragon? Ah, oh, there you are. Uh, hello? Is, Cadwell, is someone there? The I appear to be back in my head. Well, the, the, the... my other head. The other head. This is so confusing. Ah, wait, wait. Things are becoming clearer now. Ah, uh, yes, well, uh... There you are. Oh, so good to see you again, my friend. I saw that nasty orc necromancer, Zumog Foon. He really is a despicable fellow. And there was a dragon, a huge, powerful, eyes as big as a house dragon. They called it Karl Grunted, means champion of the bound time. How do I know these things? Well, yes, I did. Seems the ears are as connected as the eyes. They talked about the moons, something about an eclipse and the perfect time to use the gate. I remember something about that from when I was the betrayer, but the details are hazy.
My memory returns in dribs and drabs, but I'm not sure that's a good thing. If I remember anything helpful, though, I'll let you know. Where are my manners? They're waiting for you. Queen Camira has called another war council in the throne room. Not a clue, but I know one way to find out. Head inside and see what the Cat Queen has to say. The archives were extremely helpful once I found the appropriate documents. Our moon singers and moon priests have always paid particular attention to detail. What did you learn? Tharn found documents regarding an ancient agreement with the Dragon Guard. They apparently provided a weapon to use against the dragons. This relates to the legends of Kunsari and Queen Anequina, yes? Pardon the interruption, Queen Chimera. But that sounds like the dragon horn we found. That dragon guard didn't survive, but he gave us the Anequina dragon horn. <sighs> so this alliance I reluctantly agreed to has borne fruit. The Cygnus Irregulars assisted, but your agent did the important work. A weapon from the dragon guard? Interesting. Come, Five Claw. I want to hear your report. Agreeing to an alliance with Imperials. At least it appears this Prefect Kalo assisted you. Tell me what happened out there, Five Claw. I want to hear it from you. So that is the Dragon Horn. It is much smaller than I thought it would be, and it looks fragile. Sound it once and it will probably crumble to dust. What are we supposed to do with such a thing? As always, you have my thanks, Five Claw. Agreeing to an alliance, so that... Uraxia hoped to appease the dragons by assassinating the last dragon guard of elsewhere. He died, but at least you acquired the Anequina Dragonhorn and avenged his death. Now if we only knew what to do with the damn thing. I know how a horn works, Five Claw, but this is a relic of ancient magic. I do not want to damage it before we learn the true significance of its power. I will have Tarn do more research. In the meantime, we have another matter to deal with. Cadwell's visions strike more frequently now, with more urgency. Tarn believes Zumag Fum is close to reassembling Cadwell's dismembered body. I want you to stop him. The betrayer of legend must not be reborn! Abner Tarn checks on Cadwell regularly. Find them, and see if they can tell you where Zumog Fum hides. Meanwhile, I will consult with Garish Ri. Review the Kunzari stories before we task Tarn with learning more about the Dragonhorn. A little. There was a similar relic at Starhaven Adeptorium, but I never gave it much thought. It was just there, another memento of a mostly forgotten past. The one you brought us, it bears the name of an Equina. An Equina is the name of our kingdom, the northern half of elsewhere. It grew out of one of the 16 original prides and was named after my ancestor, Anequina Sharptongue. 
She was one of the ancient heroes, a member of Kunzari's Krajan. Legends and myths make up a great part of who we are, Five Claw. For the Khajiit, the truth of our stories is the truth, pure and simple. The return of the dragons began with the tales of Kunzari, and I expect it to end there as well. No. Kunzari and his company of heroes predate the arrival of the Akaviri and Tamriel. It was the Akaviri who gave rise to the Dragon Guard and revealed the secrets of the Dragonhorn. As I understand it, the Starhaven Dragonhorn was a gift. From the ancient order of the Dragon Guard, if I remember what the adept at Starhaven once told me, I assume the same is true of the Anequina Dragonhorn. It's too bad that the Dragon Guard you met did not live long enough to tell you more. Legends and myths make up a great part of who we are, Five Claw. For the Khajiit, the truth of our stories is the truth, pure and simple. The return of the dragons began with the tales of Kunzari, and I expect it to end there as well. No. Kunzari...